Hey, and welcome to The Rich Rabbit. Today, we're going to talk about a woman who changed the history books for the better. Of course, we're talking about none other than Kamala Harris. Kamala Devi Harris was born on 20th of October 1964 in Auckland, California. She was elected to the U.S. Senate as a Democrat in 2016 and began her first term representing California in that body the following year. She was the first Indian American to serve as a U.S. Senator, as well as the second African American woman. Harris previously was the state's Attorney General, and in November 2020, she was elected Vice President of the U.S. on a ticket with Joe Biden. Her father, who was Jamaican, taught at Stanford University, while her mother, the daughter of an Indian diplomat, was a cancer researcher. Her younger sister, Maya, later became a public policy advocate. After studying political science and economics at Howard University, Kamala earned a law degree in 1989 from Hastings College. She subsequently worked as a deputy district attorney in Auckland, earning a reputation for toughness as she prosecuted cases of gang violence, drug trafficking, and sexual abuse. Harris rose through the ranks becoming district attorney in 2004. In 2010, she was narrowly elected Attorney General of California, winning by a margin of less than 1%, and thus becoming the first female and the first African American to hold the post. After taking office the following year, she demonstrated political independence. For example, she rejected pressure from the administration of President Barack Obama for her to settle a nationwide lawsuit against mortgage lenders for unfair practices. Instead, she pressed California's case and in 2012 won a judgment five times higher than that originally offered. Her refusal to defend Proposition 8, which bans same-sex marriage in the state, helped lead to it being overturned in 2013. Harris's book Smart on Crime, co-written with John Oak Hamilton, was considered a model for dealing with the problem of criminal recidivism. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified whenever we upload our next video. In 2012, Harris delivered a memorable address at the Democratic National Convention raising her national profile. Two years later, she married attorney Douglas M. Hoff. Widely considered a rising star within the party, she was recruited to run for the U.S. Senate seat held by Barbara Boxer, who was retiring. In early 2015, Harris declared her candidacy. And on the campaign trail, she called for immigration and criminal justice reforms, increases to the minimum wage, and protection of women's reproductive rights. She easily won the 2016 election. After taking office in January 2017, Harris began serving on both the Select Committee on Intelligence and the Judiciary Committee, among other assignments. She became known for her prosecutorial style of questioning witnesses during hearings, which drew criticism and occasional interruptions from Republican senators. In June 2017, she drew particular attention for her questions to U.S. Attorney General Jeff Sessions, who was testifying before the Intelligence Committee on alleged Russian interference in the 2016 presidential election. Harris's memoir, The Truths We Hold, An American Journey, was published in January 2019. Shortly thereafter, Harris announced that she was seeking the Democratic presidential nomination in 2020. It should come as no surprise that from the outset, she was seen as one of the leading contenders. She drew particular attention when during a primary debate she had a contentious exchange with fellow candidate Joe Biden. It was over Biden's opposition to school busing in the 1970s and 80s, among other race-related topics. Although Harris's support initially increased, by September 2019, her campaign was in serious trouble, and three months later, she dropped out of the race. But that didn't stop her, though. She continued to maintain a high profile, notably becoming a leading advocate for social justice reform following the May 2020 death of George Floyd, an African-American who had been in police custody. 
Her widespread efforts silenced some who had criticized her tenure as Attorney General, alleging that she had failed to investigate charges of police misconduct, including questionable shootings. As racial injustice became a major issue in the U.S., many Democrats called on Biden, the party's presumptive nominee, to select an African-American woman as his vice presidential running mate. In August 2020, Biden chose Harris, and she thus became the first black woman to appear on a major party's national ticket. In November 2020, she became the first black woman to be elected vice president of the U.S. Kamala proved that women are no less than men. She went against the odds and overcame all the hurdles. She's an inspiration to all the women along with men. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notified whenever we upload our next video. Your valuable suggestions are very important to us, so do post them in the comment section. And we'll see you in our next video.